Hey everybody, it's Paula from Crafting by the Pond. I hope you're having a fab tabulous day. Um, I am on today because I have a Dollar Tree haul that I would like to share. Um, so let's do this, shall we? Um, and I think, yeah, I just went to, oh, a Dollar Tree, oh, an Aldi. Let me do this first. Again, not organized at all because it's me. All right, so um, I went to Aldi yesterday because I had to pick up a few things. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Mr. Crafting by the Pond's birthday, so he does not like cake. He's so weird. Like, I love cake. Like, if there's cake and you're having a party, I I'm coming if there's cake. Um, him, not so much. So I picked up a cheesecake because I love him, but I'm not making him a cheesecake. Um, but anyway, so anyway, Aldi squirrel um they had their candles on sale um certain ones and i got this beach uh bungalow it's a three wick candle it was two bucks guys and it smells oh my gosh it smells like you are at the beach um so i i grabbed this one i, I love it so I'm going to put that on my uh, burner downstairs. I use the electric burner. I don't light candles because I have a cat. And um, he cannot be trusted. <laughs> if you watch the channel, you know Socrates. He's, he's something. Um, so then these were also $2. And I picked them up because I really I like the lid. They're, they're really pretty. And so I thought I could put these away for like... Um, gifts and they smell so good um so i picked up this one is the forest flowers and it does smell like you're in the woods it's amazing um and this other one i picked up is a garden candle it's called orchard and it's really oh it smells so good <laughs> they all smell so good and for two dollars i mean that these are beautiful and this one is called woodland woodland berries i really like this way this one smells too and i may leave this one up here in my craft room but anyway so that is what i picked up when i was in aldi along with the uh, said cheesecake <laughs> so let me just get these out of the way you guys my craft room is still a hot mess and I just got done watching uh, Gina's channel from Gina Loves to Craft. Hey, Gina. And um, she showed her beautiful craft room. And I'm so jealous because it's so clean. But anyway, I, I'm going to get working on it. I only have four more shifts at my work. So, and then I'm taking some time off to take a step back and regroup. Um... But anyway, squirrel again. Uh, okay, Dollar Tree, let's do it. Okay, so okay, so this is non-crafty stuff. We'll do get this out of the way first. Okay, I picked up two of these bathroom cups. Guys, these are not a good deal. There's 36 in here, but um, I was not going to Walmart, and I, I'm out. So I just, sometimes you can't put a price tag on your sanity. Um, I picked up this clear uh, gel nail polish because I'm going to go and get my nails did here soon and I, I just like that. It helps things last. Okay, so these are, are supposed to be like a huge deal. I watched uh, Anna and or somebody who, no, I watched one of the other YouTube callers, the big a crafty girl or something, and said that these are the bomb. So um, I'm going to try those. I don't know. Is it going to work? I don't know. Um, and then these I picked up. These aren't really that great of a deal either. Um, but there's two in here. And, you know, I think they work pretty good. So I picked those up just to kind of have. So that is non-crafty. I did grab. Oh, I grabbed. The, the, they had the garlic bagel chips. And for $1.25, I got three bags of those because those are very, very good. And um, they're more expensive, like if you go to Walmart. So you can't get them that cheap. And I did find a, one jar, the lone jar of that avocado hot sauce that everybody is all the rage about. There was one 
one Uno on the shelf and I grabbed it. So that's for Mr. Crafting by the Pond. All right. Oh, I guess I have one more other non-crafty thing. Um, these bags, but I did buy them with the intent um, for storage in my craft room because it's going down. This craft room is, I, mm, I'm getting a handle on it if it's the last thing I do. I don't know if I'll be able to, I'm going to work on it uh, before I go on vacation. So, but these bags are pretty big, okay? These aren't the extra large ones, but they still, they hold a lot of stuff. So I thought that would help me with some um, organizing and, you know, getting rid of some stuff. So there's that. Okay. Uh, also, in the spirit of organization, I have all of the black um, cubes on my shelf, on my bookshelf. I took all my books out and put them downstairs where they go. And I, you, I'm utilizing the bookshelf as like a storage <clears throat> for all my crafts. So the top of my shelf is a hot mess. And so it's all going to go away. Like it's going to get cleaned up. I'm going to go through things. I'm going to, um, uh, get rid of some things um and just kind of because it's so overwhelming like when I come in here I I just you know how sometimes our craft room gets where you're just you've got so much stuff and it's overwhelming and you just you just want to get out <laughs> you don't want to stay and hang out so I'm going to probably work on some things in here today just a little bit um I watch Sarah with crafting and relaxing and she does like a 30 minute thing right she'll she'll set the timer for 30 minutes and just straighten up a little area and so i'm gonna try to do that today we'll see how it works mr uh crafting by the pond is out mowing the yard so and it's hot outside so we usually don't go outside to like get in the pool or whatever till like three o'clock um so I might have some time. Okay. Um, all right, you guys. These things. Oh, it's stuck. Stuck to the bag. Um, okay, so this, you know, the lace, everybody's picking this up. I love it. I love the color. It's the beige uh, for the journal. So that's going on. Okay, first, I know it's, it's June. I, I know. Not even July yet, but, you know, it's coming. Um, I picked up these little pumpkin spice pine cones. They smell wonderful. And they had them out like in the garden section. So I think they're going to start putting the fall stuff out soon. So I got these because I just like the smell and it makes your craft room smell nice. Um, so I've got those. I hope the cat doesn't find them. I put them up on the shelf. Okay, so this was new for me. This is a burlap trim, again, for the journals. I picked this up. Really kind of cool. Let's open it. That way you don't get the glare. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of cool, right? I'm going to try that out. Um, and it is. It's, yeah, it's burlap. So something different, I thought, for a journal. That's going to be perfect. So pick that up. Um, wood beads. Did I need these? No. I don't even know what I was thinking, but, um, I, I have, um, like my beads section is totally out of control, and I'm not even really a beater anymore. <laughs> it's a, I'm not a beater. <laughs> so anyway, um, this I picked up again because I love it. It's, you know, the, the ribbon with the, the yellow flowers, because you know, the yellow is my favorite color. Oh! Sorry, Mom. Hi. Hi, Pop. Hey, Morgan. Dottie. Anybody else out there? Friends, family in the YouTube land? Hey! I almost forgot. This, Mom, this reminded me of the wallpaper I used to have in the bedroom I had when I was growing up. Um, my mom picked up this real pretty yellow. And I think you helped us pick it out, too. Yeah, I had the yellow, and I love it. That's why I think I love the yellow. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come on later and do a VR. Denise Becker is having a Bah Humbug challenge. You guys, it's going to be so 
much fun. If you're not, if you lost your crafty mojo, you want to get a jump start on your holiday crafting, like this girl needs to get it in gear, um, I'm going to do a VR. And so I picked these up in the spirit of, I want to do those, um, you know, those Christmas trees where you do like the, the yarn or the whatever. So more to come on this. I'm actually going to start doing some project shares when I'm actually like crafting. My son recommended it, so we'll do it. Um, in the light of storage again, I love these. Am I crazy about the colors? No, but <laughs> I love these because these are perfect to put, um, if you're working on something, um, you know, like cards and whatever, and this can hold the ephemera. These are great for storage. I love, love, love those. So they have like animal print ones. That's not my jam. So I left them there. But again, in the light of organizing, organizing myself. Um, okay. Again, for the challenge with Denise. Yep. Fall. Fall. Can you say rosettes? I can. Um, so yeah, two sizes. I thought those were cute, so I picked those up. Um, okay. These were new to me. And I saw them, and I was like, yes. All right, no. Oh, this isn't like the cool bag. All right, yeah, I'm sorry. I like the bags that you can just open. And you guys... I am a little organized. I have my scissors. <laughs> so, up oh, Socrates is here, so. <laughs> Shenanigans and tomfoolery could happen in any moment. Okay. So, this one says, best day ever. I know, right? Best day ever. So, that's kind of cool. I got like a weird shadow today, and my camera's angle is the same. So, anyway, I picked that one up. They're a little, ooh, yeah. Okay, so these are a little kind of stinky. So, may have to, that is, those are just everything. Best day ever. So, yeah, have those, pick those up. And I'm going to leave those out to kind of air them out. Sometimes they, they have like a weird, a little bit of a weird chemical smell. Not a fan of that. All right, and so... These are just uh, geometric shapes, cute, right? And on the back, there, there's nothing. So I picked those up. You hear crinkling in the background. It's Socrates. I knew it was too good to be true. All right, buddy. Okay, you can be in that bag because I already went through that one. Okay, hang on, guys. All right. So, oh, okay. This non-crafty um but getting ready to see grandchildren so i picked up some of these uh bracelet kits i thought we could because i always do projects with them we like to do projects together so i was trying to look for things because they're kind of getting teenagers they're teenagers they're pre yeah they're like pre-teenagers like where does the time go um anyway so those um for the boys, I, I've got a lot of, um, I don't know what you call it, string. I'm going to bring different colors for the boys, but I wanted this one because it has like the loom on it, the foam loom, so you can, um, it it's so much more helpful. So anyway, I picked those up so we could do those as a little project. Um, oh, you can't go wrong with a puzzle. So I picked up, uh, three. Ooh, that glare. Sorry. So this one has, like, a cat and a monkey. Check out the monkey. Um, and then this one is really kind of cool, I thought. It's very kind of steampunky and whatever. A lot of different colors. Uh, and this one is a New York one. Because, you know, I'm was born and raised in New York, but moved away. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I picked up these little birdhouse things. Because, um, again, just kind of something to do if we get, you know, 
that this is like our thing. And I'm going to do, um, I was also kind of thinking, um, putting together like some little card kits so they can, you know, put some cards together while we're together because that's kind of what we do our thing. Oh, and <laughs> I got three of those. Um, and then these things, the fidget, fidget popper things, I, I don't know. All the kids like them, so I don't know. All right, so that's what I kind of got. I'm putting together like a bag of crafty stuff to take, so we have something to do. And, oh, okay, so, and then I picked up some books, and again, I grabbed... Um, three more of these because I ha I want all just one color. So I picked those up for the art of organization and I got some books. I know a lot of people don't like the books. They think the books are dumb, but whatever, getting ready to go on a trip. So, um, we're very traditional. My husband does both of driving. And so I really wanted to like knit uh, in the car. So I may watch a couple videos too before we go. Okay. This was a dollar. This was a dollar. It's called salt, salt, fat, acid, heat. And what it is, it's their journals. Okay. And it came in the stand for a dollar. Um, I think initially it came probably from like Target or somewhere. I, I don't even know, but the label on it says it was 20 bucks. So, okay. Um, so let's take a look at it, shall we? It comes, this is hard, right? So, um, I don't know if I'll keep the design on there. I don't know. Um, but why I picked it up, because there were four, there's four journals in here, grid, and look at the inside. That's kind of cool. I'm thinking big journal with uh, maybe a cooking theme. I don't know. Um, and this is, you know, the inside. So like you don't have to do anything to it. I could just make a journal cover. And this has the dots, paper, um, and the yellow one. You know I had it. <laughs> and then this one is lined, the yellow. A dollar, guys, a dollar. I don't even know. Like, and there was only one and it was like in a weird place. And so I saw it and I liked it and I thought, well, maybe it was in like the, the $5 spot or whatever. Nope. A dollar. So, and then this is blank. So, but this is like an accordion file. See, it's got the, Oh, and you put like little recipes in there. This was a find, you guys, for a dollar. Hey, all right. So anyway, there was that. And I will just put this back in here. Okay. All right, moving on. If I can find a spot. <laughs> I'm airing out my must thank you things. Let's put those up so they're out of the way. Um, okay, so then I picked up the um, Colorful Prayers. Uh, it has 20 uh, scripture cards in there. I thought that was kind of a cool thing to have. A cutesy little thing to maybe have in the car with some colored pencils or something so I don't get bored. Because I get bored. Like, I have to do something. I'm very lucky in that regard. I can, like, read and do stuff in the car. And I don't, I don't get car sick or anything like that. A lot of people I know do. I, I don't. All right. So, all right. What would a vacation be without a trashy romance novel? Da, 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 da. So, um, that's for the car. Um, and I think it came from Walmart. It was originally nine bucks. I paid a dollar for it. Dollar 25. Cause it's, you know, dollar 25 now. So still, that's a good price. And then, they had two of these books by the same author, so I just thought I would pick those up. You know, something light uh, to read in the car, and they're supposed to be pretty good. New York Times bestsellers, um, and they're marked $13.58. These came from Walmart, so um, I don't know. I'll let you know, or I might forget. I don't know, <laughs> but just kind of something to do in the car.
Okay. Oh my gosh. Where does time go? It's almost 20 minutes. Um, it is now 20 minutes. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you're having a great day. Please be sweet and be kind to each other. And I'll be back uh, shortly with another video. Take it easy, guys. Bye.